You remember this turn? How about these turns? Well, as the campus minister of the St. Joseph Newman Center and the Catholic Braves, I thought it was our turn to bring our alumni and our benefactors back onto campus to see some of the great things the Lord God is doing within the Catholic Brave community. Hi, my name's Mary, and I get to be involved in some of our most evangelical aspects here at the Newman Center. Um, one of those being Quininia. Every semester we lead a retreat called Quininia. Um, we just had one in the fall where we had record-breaking numbers and 32 retreatants, and we're hoping to make that the norm. Um, I'm coordinator for the Quininia in the spring semester, and I'm just really excited for it. Quininia is amazing because it really introduces a lot of our students to the community, and we really start seeing them come around after they go through the retreat, and they get involved with our um, men's and women's nights, which is just like a night of formation for both men and women where they get to spend some time in formation and fellowship. We also have seen so many people um, jumping into Bible studies and I think about like 80% of the people who just went through the retreat are also applying for team in the spring. Another one of the aspects that I'm involved with here at the Catholic Braves is New Renaissance and it's a program of discipleship where we as students get to help keep each other accountable in our commitment to having Christ be the center of our lives. We read the Bible 20 minutes every day. We get to go to a couple Masses a week, confession twice a month, and just spend like 30 minutes of prayer in the chapel every day. And we also strive to grow in moral virtue as well, especially in the virtue of temperance. As a New Renaissance leader, we also organize our outreach events, like going out onto campus and having very intentional conversations with people about the gospel. But our most important aspect is our Bible studies, which we lead. And we have 11 Bible studies in which 96 students from all over campus attend faithfully each week. And I get to lead one of those, and it brings so much joy to my life. I've really just loved my time being in New Renaissance. Our, our Bible study, uh, we're very much robust men, all of us who are in it. So we uh, start off every Bible study by actually taking a look at like a really manly saint or a really manly group of saints. Sometimes it's the 40 Martyrs of Sebasti, Maximilian Kolbe, or St. Sebastian. So just kind of looking at these, these Catholic saints who just lived authentically, but also had a degree of manhood to them. Um, you know, and just all the time that we've had in Bible study, taking a look at God's Word. Um, and take a look at the church's doctrine. We've also been able to doctor up some victories uh, on the field. Uh, as some of the guys at the Newman Center we got together last year, and we're like, you know, it'd be great if we had some Newman teams for, you know, for football or for basketball, for volleyball, for these intramurals. So that's what we decided to do. We made like official Newman teams, and we all wear Newman shirts when we play. Um, but all, all of it, it yes, yeah, the main intention, uh, you know, we, we want to be able to play and we want to be able to have fun but even more so as an evangelization chance. Uh, it's just another chance for people on campus to get to know who we are uh, as the Catholic Braves. So it's all based on prayer. Uh, we start off every game, uh, pre-game prayer in the chapel, um, and we get there uh, on the field, we warm up, and then we actually invite the other team if they want to pray for us. And usually Mont Senior or sometimes Father Richard is there, so they'll actually lead us in prayer before the game. We were able to pray at the end of every game too, uh, also with the fans that we had, because we had fans come to the games too. Uh, we had team moms, they made cookies, they baked donuts and all this sort of stuff, and they just brought some goodies and, and cheered us on. Um, it was a really good time, but that time that we had on the field, uh, the time that we played those games, um, it's kind of a microcosm of our battle against sin because you know, especially um, at, you know, as, as the guys in the football team, you know, we all want to have that that imagery in our minds of an actual battlefield against sin, um, and that's why I think we're so attracted to sport. Uh, you know, all of us as humans have an innate desire for competition. You know, we want to take the field. You know, we want to be able to play. We want to be able to fight from that opponent's sin. And the person we're fighting for is God. So, um, I've had a really good time with with the intramural sports teams here, and we're looking to make some more. So. Um, through my time here in the different positions that I've held um, in the leadership um, at the Newman Center, I have seen a lot of changes being made. Some of the material improvements that I have seen happen um, over my time here at the Newman Center, one of the big ones was the um, drain pipe right outside in, in the St. Francis Courtyard. Our lighting was professionally updated um, over the summer, which has also been a huge blessing. New couches and sofas and other types of furniture have been provided and the piano was updated as well. 
I really am most excited about all the spiritual growth that I've seen within our Newman Center um, over the past few semesters. One of the big things that we've done as a community was last winter break, we took about 50 college students down to San Antonio for a conference called SEEK. It was good to be with all the other college students from all around the world, but also to have that time uh, with the Newman Center here um, at Bradley. One of the big things that I am really passionate about is the Day of Grace event. What it is is we have um, confessions and adoration out on the quad for an entire day. We start in the morning with Mass and then have a Eucharistic procession out to the quad. And it's just so cool to see um, their experience with it as well as how other college students just passing by experience Jesus out on the quad. So I'm really pleased with everything that has been going on at the Newman Center, especially this semester. I'm um, graduating in December and I'm just really excited to um, see what fruits come out of, um, out of this place and from the leadership council that is um, here now. So because of all the formation I've had here and just the ability to go to daily mass and build a prayer life and have such a strong faith community, I'm really excited to see what God has planned for my life next. This place definitely has provided me with such a strong foundation in the faith and I'm excited to pass it on to new leaders and see what comes out of this Newman Center. So after going to a Catholic high school and Catholic grade school and coming to campus, I'd had an inkling that maybe God was calling me to something more, something like the priesthood. Uh, but I wanted to have that college experience. I came around the Newman Center at the beginning and didn't really know if I wanted to be there with those people. They had a joy about them though that was something that I remembered. This college experience that drew me, the life that the world was offering to me, was something that kind of trapped me in and I got involved with the wrong group of friends. It made me question who I was and after looking myself in the mirror, I decided that that life that I was living was not life worth living. And it brought me back to the Newman Center to start searching for what they had there. The formation that I've gotten through all the people around me has got me to go to SEEK 2015, SEEK 2017, get involved in Bible studies, and eventually lead my own Bible study, getting friendships that aren't based on something the world's promising us. Through those friendships that I've gotten at the Newman Center, we've pushed ourselves to become godly, more Christian people, to show love to the rest of the world. This formation also came from the campus ministers that I've experienced here, from the priests that we've had here. Monsignor and Father offer their time, as well as Sam, our current campus minister, even above and beyond, waking up in the middle of the night when a student needs our help. The formation that they've given us has made us take our faith seriously and actually push each other. I would not have had this formation without this Newman Center. The prayer life that I've developed, the spiritual readings that I've developed, as well as just being able to interact and love those around me better has made it that much easier to say yes to joining the seminary next spring. Friends, you can't imagine the joy it is to be able to walk with God's children as they discover what it means to be a child of God. I get to be father to those children, hundreds of them every week who come through our Newman Center, the 200 that come to Mass every week, especially to be there as they experience the mercy of the Father as their sins are forgiven in the sacrament of reconciliation, as we feed them with the very body and blood of our Lord Jesus, I get to walk with them, to help them to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit, to hear what God's plan is for their life. You know, Sam and I work really hard to get our students to understand that it's because of the sacrifices of God's people that we can be a dynamic presence here on Bradley's campus with this place of encounter. Is, uh, it's really hurting these days. The carpet on the stairs is a mess. It's downright dangerous in some places. Uh, the wooden chairs throughout our building, there's only so many times that you can glue them and screw them and put them together. And I think many of you know that a lot of the joy that comes from discovering that you're a child of God happens during our Koinonia weekends. The supplies for Koinonia are constantly in need of replenishing and updating. Maybe also you've been here and you know uh, what a peaceful place is our St. Francis Courtyard where students go to pray and to study, to have their meetings, their discipleship. It's a beautiful environment, but in the background the fence is breaking down, it's rickety in our chapel. 
our beautiful chapel, the heart of our whole building. I don't know how many times we have to put out buckets and pans to catch the water that comes in from the leaky roof. I need to ask you to ask the Lord to give you some guidance on how you can help us, how much you can sacrifice of your time, talent, and treasure. But friends, especially, we need your treasure these days. I'm asking you to find out, to discern how much you can give in a monthly offering, a recurring offering to our Newman Center. I say recurring gift because we need to be able to count on a stable income. The good news about a recurring gift is it doesn't have to be a big chunk. Maybe you're a recent alum who's just getting established. $15 a month goes a long way in helping. And we do appreciate those who are able to give a hundred some actually $200 a month. Whatever you can give, please, just go to our website, ncbu.org, and click on the Support Us page. Friends, thank you for your help, and have a blessed Advent.